hi everybody. Welcome to Monica Barnes Art. I actually just put, um, I'm getting ready to do my second coat on this 24 by 24 board. I sanded it and I did put a little bit of clear on there so it's wet. I have my colors. I'm using the same colors that I have. So I have um, from the color cottage, I have strawberry bliss, dandy night, Dandy, dandelion yellow, sapphire blue, sunset orange, and groovy grape. They're the colors I'm using. So I did mix all my pigments, all my mica, into my resin, and I'm getting ready to pour it on the canvas. And I'm basically going to do the same thing as what's there. Yeah, I am, except get rid of these pits and stuff, so... Same exact thing, except this time I mixed up enough resin to go the whole way. What's the matter, Duke? I got my great Dane laying next to me, and he is panting like serious pants. It is hot out today and we're in the garage. I'm trying to save money to get a shed so I can have my own art studio so I don't have to work around all this dust and dirt. So remember everybody, all my paintings are for sale if anybody's interested. Purple. I like this a lot up here. I'm not going to do too much up there. Well, I say that now that I'm not going to do too much up there, but you know me. When I get up there, I'll be probably pouring all kinds of colors on it. <laughs> I said that for the bottom, and look at me go. Okay, so I'm just going to come up with something and do it all. Okay, so right now I'm just going to use my hand. And it. I think that's probably the easiest thing to do. Need a little bit more blue. Hopefully I have some more blue. I don't have too much, that's for sure. Scrape it to get every little drop, because one little drop can go a long way, as you can see. I take a little bit from up here. I don't need all that up there. But I do need it here, so. Okay, that looks cool. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Now this, I'm just gonna blend into itself. Into the clear. I love this blue, I think it's so pretty. And I wanted the top to be quite a bit darker, so I think that'll work. I like the sun, everything. I think it's I think it's really pretty what's going on. I like the different textures. I'm not sure about what I just did down here.
Okay, I'm gonna heat it up, move it around a little bit, see what happens and see what we get. I think I need to add just a little bit of other colors for the, to give it a little something. A little too much blue. I think we need a little bit brighter orange up here too. Red. What, what, what did I just use? Red. Here's the orange. Damn it! I thought that was orange. Okay, well, we got it. We got it. Don't worry, we got it. It will come together eventually. And I'm just mixing these with my fingers. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Okay, I did like the way it looked. Now it's like different, but it's cool. So I was using the heat gun, but it wasn't mixing the colors as much as I wanted them to. So I pulled the blow dryer out and I'm just going to mix the colors up with my blow dryer and it actually is working quite a bit better. And just define this little yellow line that I have here. I hate when I drip it when I don't want it to drip. The other time I don't care, but this time I do. I don't know if you guys watch um, a lot of YouTube videos, but there's a lady on there. Her name is Sharon. And her video YouTube is Vivid Days. She's the one that told me. I, to, I reached out to her. I told her I had, like, we talk a lot. And I told her that I have an artist block. And she was like, you need to do a sunset with all these different colors. I was like, yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. So, hopefully she likes this. She was like, I challenge you to do it. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this is good. Well, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to torch this and then I'll be done. It's that simple. I think this is very pretty. A little bit thick right there, huh? Uh, I hope I don't ruin it. That's what I do. Get in there and start messing and that's the end of that. Damn it. I swear. I think this is beautiful. Wow, I like it a lot better than what it was, that's for sure. 
The line's not exactly like straight or anything. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but I'm gonna go a little bit straighter. There's this big bug that keeps flying around here. I know if he gets on my painting, he's gonna mess it up. I really don't want him over here messing my painting up, that's for sure. Blend this yellow in just a little bit more. Okay. That's for sure. That's it. I'll take the camera down so you can guys can view it. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys do too.